Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC again, and we got another package. They just, well, they just keep coming in the Gold Stop Comic. Uh, and this is a, a thick boy, little, little bulging chode of a package, from Jordan Shively. You may know him as Boyd's Bids. He was the one that let me borrow those stunning Monterey Bay knives um, a while ago, and I kept them for far too long. So the fact that he was willing to send me another knife to check out is, uh, well, thank you is all I can say. So we're going to bust into this thing um, and see what Jordan has in store. So, like I said, this comes from Boyd's Vids or Jordan Shively or however you know him. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh... Pretty pumped that he offered this to me. By the way, Colsa, the unboxing knife of choice around here. I mean, why would you use any other knife if you have a Colsa? The answer is you wouldn't, other than maybe the Tonto, uh, <laughs> yeah, Tonto Nimble from EMP EDC. Full reviews coming soon on that. Unboxing will be up hopefully before this one. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it is up. It is up already. But only for channel members. Sorry. Become a channel member. So I know what this is. Nothing left in there. Look at this. Yeah, a bundle, like a little bundle of joy. Packaged with care, but not over-packaged. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, Jordan. I do, I do. Oh, yes, and just like the MBKs, he went all out on the little printout. It's, it's, it's intense. I love the colorway on this piece of paper in particular. Boyd Vids and Tri-State do a knife loan featuring the Vero Engineering Synapse XL. And he's got the specs on there. He's got his deets, including my favorite Twitter handle ever, uh, at Hottest Singles on Twitter. Hit him up. Uh, <laughs> and it's for sale for $400. I have never, the only Vero I've ever touched is the Vero Axon that I ended up buying off of, um, <laughs> off of Jason Grant of the Grant Gripper. With the usual fare from Vero, the nice patch. Really detailed patch, and the qual a quality patch. Nice Velcro, like double stuffed Velcro case. Big fan of that. Big old heavy duty zippers. Oh yeah. Damn. Okay, this is an XL. Sheesh. Let's um. Wow. Got the cards and all that good stuff. Synapse XL second run. J Vero M390 hand satin black carbon fiber. On the inlays there, raw hardware, stonewashed titanium, titanium backspacer, the usual Vero pocket clip. They, it's just such a clean design. This is very large. <laughs> I did not know it was this big. The price all of a sudden makes so much sense, just based on the amount of materials alone. Uh, so it's seen some love. Some, and I appreciate Jordan's. Uh, the MBKs as well. They all show love because they're all carried. They are all used. And I, I really appreciate that. Um, beautiful milling on the scales. You can kind of see the micro milling lines left behind. A couple snail trails. Nothing too crazy. Just clean as a whistle, man. Ultra modern. Ultra minimal. Very minimal hardware shown. Three screws. Two screws on this side. Two on this side. The hidden pocket clip screw is such a nice touch big titanium backspacer number 576 Whew. all right let's give it a flick oh my god holy crap i did not expect the detent to be that well biled holy crap and that noise Ow, I've hit myself on the finger. Closing action is buttery smooth, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that is a hell of a sound. Beautiful. Hand satin finished M390 drop point style blade. Beautiful. Almost a full flat grind. Oh, okay. So is this rubbing? Or it was rubbing at one time? So there are some 
Where are they? Now I've lost them. It's my issue with the hand satins, dude. The same thing happened with my Axon, which was hand satin finished. See these lines right here? That literally could have come from cutting cardboard. I, I don't know. Because I don't know what it is. The hand satins on the Veros, man, as soon as you cut anything with them, you're going to leave a mark. Um, but that is a good looking blade, man. Good God. And I do like that the... I, I was kind of on the fence about it at first, but I do like having the, the cutout here on one side, leaving this side basically just perfectly barren, clean, unbroken lines. Stunning. Big freaking knife. Choke back. Feels great. Can't even feel the clip. And it's big. Like, I'm still... <laughs> it's all the way back. Look, look at this fucking thing. Would you just look at this thing? Choked up like a normal grip. Nice jimping. On the blade spine that feels great and we have a nice choil too nice finger choil good room plenty of room that feels nice that feels great oh man i just can't get over that noise uh left-handed because it is a bolster lock well it's just so much blade to move man running on bearings oh it feel it sounds like you hear that? Let's uh let's let's hit it with a dab of KPL real quick. Just right quick. Where is it at? I can't see. I'm blind. There we go. Just a little tiny little splash. It sounds like something's rubbing. I don't know if that's just me. Am I going? I've never handled one. That could be totally normal. I have no idea. Blade centering's great. Uh, so the blade itself isn't rubbing. But man, what a good looking knife that is. Good God. I, I, it's called the XL for a reason. That is very big. Let me see if I can give you something to compare it to that maybe everybody has seen or knows about. Like the CGRB Crag. A huge knife. This is a big knife. <laughs> and the Vero Synapse XL is longer by a decent amount. A good half inch. That's kind of, kind of crazy. Great knife for the money, though. If you like that, uh... I feel like that cleaver, baby. Here's the full-size CGRB Feldspar. And the Synapse XL is much bigger. And this is not a small knife. That's crazy. I, I knew I knew he was sending me the XL. I just didn't know how big it was. It is heavy. Um, because it's a, a bolster lock, there is no internal milling at all. That being said, it's really well balanced. Feels great in the hand. Makes a... God, I can't get over the noises. Let's cut something. Let's see if that blade's any good. Let's take a looky-loo here. Big shout out to the phone book. Yeah, you can see those scratches, man. I'm telling you, I, I don't know what it is about the hand satin, man. They just get trashed so easy by the lightest use. So let's, uh... Oh, yeah. I mean... Easy. Honestly... Cuts better than my Axon did until I reprofiled it. So if this is the factory edge, I'm impressed. Beautiful. Lovely. Unbelievable. Magical. Couple little micro chips I can feel, but that's just because he's used it. So I'll probably clean up the edge just a tiny bit. Beautiful. Yeah, dude, nothing a nothing a good a good stropping or a ceramic cone won't clean up real quick. But there it is, the the uh, Vero Engineering Synapse XL. Good God, and it is for sale. So if you are interested, reach out to Jordan Shively or myself, and uh, here is his information. Bing bong, there you go. All right, you're good. Okay, good. But yeah, I'm going to carry this for a few weeks, shoot some B-roll, and, and if somebody buys it, I'll either ship it to you or, or uh, you know, 
If it doesn't sell, maybe I'll buy it. I don't know. We'll see how I, how much I like it. Because it's very big. It's very, very big. <laughs> but it's really badass. There it is. Synapse XL. Jordan, thank you so much again for letting me check this one out. Um, definitely one that I've wanted to. Especially ever since the Axon came around. Um, I've always wanted to check out the Synapse. Um, beautiful knife. A stunner. So... Thank you again, Jordan. Thank you to my channel members, my Patreon members. Thank you. If you're not a channel member or a Patreon member, you, you, you don't get to see this video for like two weeks because uh, they get early access. Just saying. I'm just saying. But that's it for me. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.